For today's video, I'll be digging into my Ravelry favorites and pulling out seven of my favorite patterns to knit or crochet for warmer weather. So grab a cup of something cozy and let's dive in. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Wool Needles Hands bonus ramble. My name is Taylor and I will be your host. This is typically podcast day where I share with you all of my current works in progress. However, I am a little short on progress and I don't have a whole lot of commentary on each of those individual projects right now. So I decided because I love to sit and have this opportunity to chat with you regardless, that I was going to pull out one of my suggestions left in the Wool Needles Hands tip line for midweek ramble videos about summertime or warmer weather knitting projects. Now I live in Southern Nevada in the United States in the Northern Hemisphere. So right now we are just starting spring and we have really lovely weather here. It's not super warm. It's actually kind of cool and crisp, but sunny and it's giving me all of those spring vibes. And I know that the closer that we get to those summer months, it's really going to start heating up here. Now I'm also located in the Mojave Desert, which if you weren't aware is the fourth hottest desert on the planet. Planet. Now I do get a lot of comments about why on earth I would be knitting at all living where I live. Is there ever weather that would allow me to wear knitwear? And yes, absolutely. We are at about 2000 feet above sea level here. So we're a little on the higher elevation side of the desert. So we do get four solid seasons. Now in the summer, it gets very hot. We can clock 118 on one of the really hot summer days, but those days are far and few between. Typically we stay anywhere between 105 and 108 anytime throughout the summer. And then the rest of the year is really quite beautiful. In the fall, it gets cold and crisp. We have really cold winters and we have beautiful temperate springs. And so it provides me with a lot of opportunity to have lots of different types of knitwear. But when spring starts to roll around and the flowers start to bloom and everything really starts to green up, my motivation for knitting some of those more traditional knitted pieces with wool yarns, rustic yarns, it starts to wane a little bit and I start leaning towards things that have a little bit more color, fabrics that are much more breathable, that contain cotton or linen. And all of that knitting mojo just shifts. And I can feel that happening right now. Fortunately, I'm pretty motivated with the projects I have. I don't have a lot of active projects at the moment and the ones that I do have are very intentional. I'm knitting a baby blanket for a friend who's expecting a baby soon. I'm knitting a sweater for my husband that I know he's not going to wear until it cools down again, so I have some time on that. And then I'm also knitting a throw that's going to be a perfect spring and summer throw for in the house when the air conditioner pops on and maybe there's a little bit of initial chill. So all of these things are very intentional, but it is giving me a lot of the kind of um, itchy fingers to start exploring some patterns that are strictly spring and summer knits. And so I've done a little bit of digging through my Ravelry favorites and I pulled out a variety of different patterns patterns here today to share with you guys to give you a little inspiration and provide you with that little nudge to consider casting on something that's suitable for warmer weather. Now I know not all of us are in the Northern Hemisphere. In fact, I know that an awful lot of you guys are coming from Australia and New Zealand and places in the Southern Hemisphere. The temperatures are not heating up for you. In fact, they're doing exactly the opposite but maybe you'll find something here that motivates you regardless. And if you start knitting these things now, they'll be ready for you when you shift into your next season and when things start to warm up again. All in all, let's just have a little fun and chat about seven projects to knit or crochet for warmer weather. The first project, I'm gonna call this project number seven and we're gonna work our way down. Don't forget to scan the QR code that I popped up on the screen earlier in the episode if you wanna follow along with me with the show notes that are available in the description box and over at woolneedleshands.com. Scan that QR code at the beginning of the episode. That will help you follow along with the projects I'm bringing up here. The first project I wanna share with you guys today is called the Colorful Corner Blanket in Tulip Cotton by Pearl Soho. This, and I'm starting with a blanket here. We're starting off easy and we're starting off relaxed. It's a very simple corner to corner from what I can see blanket. It kind of reminds me of a garter stitch blanket that is knit very much like one of those garter stitch washcloths that you work corner to corner. 
What I love about this is not only the opportunity for color play here, and it's very limited in where the color happens. You have this big patch of neutral color with just that one corner that has three really striking contrasting colors. It gives you a lot of opportunity for color play, but also the size of the blanket is a really nice size. And I want to say it's coming in at... 20 yeah 27 and a quarter inches by 38 inches long it's not a really big blanket and the reason why i chose this was because i feel like it's that perfect single person blanket if you're going to the park to watch your kids play if you're going to watch a sporting event you're going to sit on the grass something like that where you're going to be sitting out in the beautiful weather and it's just going to be you on the blanket it's that perfect blanket to roll up shove it in a big bag and take it with you it's made of all cotton so it's absolutely washable i just think it's a really functional blanket to have and it stands out with that gorgeous trio of colors in the corner. I just love this. And that's exactly why I chose this was I wanted something that I could lay out even in the front yard when my kids are playing outside. I could just lay it out on our front lawn, watch the kids play. You know, it's just it's nice things that make you feel accomplished because you made it. It's fashionable. It's colorful. I just love it. So I thought this was a good way to start with fun things to knit for the warmer weather. It's being knit in all cotton, so it's not going to be super hot on your lap. And these pictures are so inspiring. Like you guys, I love a really good, you know, hand knit cross section of just like knitted fabric. And if this is not, this is just like the most satisfying looking cross section of knitting. I absolutely love it. And those crisp color breaks and contrasts, ooh, it's so good. Moving on, number six. Okay, for me to explain number six to you, I have to grab one of my absolute favorite accessories. I wear it all the time. I'll be right back. Okay, this is my hat. It is, um, I absolutely love this hat. Now, if you've seen pictures of me um, out and about, you see me wearing this hat a lot. It's just a great hat to wear. It tops off every outfit. It adds that little piece of, I don't know, visual interest. I absolutely adore this hat. Like I'm going to put it on for you right now. This is my, this is it. This is my, <laughs> I, I can't even tell you. I'm, I'm, it's one of those pieces that I have that if I were to lose it, it would be devastating. You know, you have those like items in your wardrobe, whether it's a piece of clothing or something like a hat or an accessory or something. And you know that if something were to happen to it down the line, it would just be devastating. That's this hat. This hat has been through a lot. I have worn it doing lots of different things. It's probably a little dirtier than it needs to be, but it's just, it's perfect. I absolutely love this hat. And there's nothing that's going to replace this hat because it's just so perfect. I wear it um, comfortably on my head. It's not super stifling and it's really lightweight. But because I wear a hat like that all the time, I was thinking it would be cool if I could find like a crochet or knitting pattern. And I knew it would probably be crochet because I need that density of fabric where I can make my own hat like that. Um, you know, just, just because I love it so much. And I found a great pattern for something very similar. So let me find it. Okay, this is called, and I don't know if this is pronounced the Luca hat or the Lucca hat. It is by Suzanne Mueller and it uses Wool in the Gang Ra Ra Raffia. And I don't know what that, okay, it's, <laughs> it says it's 100% other fiber. So I'm assuming it's just like Raffia made of paper. It says, oh, it's a crochet friendly yarn that will add a little structure to your summer hats, bags, and accessories made of 100% wood fiber. This yarn's light, vegan, and eco-friendly, 100% made from wood. Very cool. And I love this. Look how chic that is with this all black outfit. So black is my color of choice. If, it, if I can get away with it, I just absolutely love wearing a black top and you know all year long. And when I see this hat with that black top and black pants, it's just so chic. I love it so much. And what, an, what a perfect hat in that color, very similar to this like caramely color, but much more light. That is more of like a camel color, goes with everything. I want to make this hat so bad. In fact, I probably will be going on and ordering this yarn today because I really want to make this hat. And what a fun thing to work on when maybe you're lacking mojo for your more uh, cooler weather projects, something functional and something you're really going to want in your wardrobe if you're a hat person. Now, I know a lot of us are not hat people and that's totally fine. So this one, you can skip over this one. It might not be for you. But for somebody like me who absolutely loves wearing a wide brim hat, 
This is so right down my alley, I can't even tell. Oh, with the striped sweater, stop it. Look at that. That's all the motivation I need. It is a perfect hat for summertime or warmer weather or really any time if you want to keep the sun off your face and you want something lightweight to wear um, that's just stylish and goes with a lot of things. And of course, if you are a hat person. Okay, this next one is a hand knit t-shirt. I feel like that perfect knitted t-shirt is kind of like an elusive pattern, especially based on your own personal preferences. This is a very personal um, thing. Like we all have a certain style of t-shirt that we prefer over others and finding a hand knit version of that or something that satisfies that preference is really challenging. This particular one is what I like in a t-shirt. I wouldn't say that this is that like quintessential perfect t-shirt that's going to be your everyday staple, but it's pretty close and it's called the Colette tee and this is by Weetra Design. It's a very classic high neck. It looks like it's kind of bordering on like a mock neck and I love that. It gives it a little bit of structure. I don't like knit t-shirts that are really open and wide. I don't like a boat neck. It's just not my thing. I like a nice kind of high neckline like, like a t-shirt would be. Like this to me is like a t-shirt, the way a t-shirt should fit. It's got the high crew neck or you know like a nice fitted crew neck and then it has sleeves that come down to like mid to two thirds of the way down your arm, your upper arm. Um, that's what I want my sleeves to do. And that's what's happening with this design here. And I think it's just beautiful, a classic design. And this one is knit using, okay, there's a lot of different options, but it's um, essentially a, a cotton blend. It looks, oh, no, 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 I take that back. So yeah, the one that sh you see in the sample is knit with what looks to be 48% cotton, 52% merino. So it is a merino cotton blend. You are going to get some more resilience with the fabric because there is some merino in there. And don't shy away from merino wool when it comes to warmer weather knits because merino wool is really excellent at not only insulating, but also being breathable and cooling in the summer and warmer months because it helps to wick moisture away from your skin, making things feel less hot and warm and tingly and prickly. So it is really a good wool fiber to use if you are trying to use kind of a blend in your more warmer weather knits. Yes, I absolutely love this. I love that it's not too long. It kind of sits a little cropped. Of course, you can absolutely adjust that if you don't wear high-waisted pants. It's just a really classic look. It's knit in one piece, top down. It has a raglan sleeve construction. Yeah, it's just a great all-around t-shirt in my opinion. It's using a DK weight yarn here. So, and I feel like the needle size must be giving it, it must be a little bit of a larger needle size because it has a little bit of a slubby look. The stitches are a little bit more open, giving it a really nice drape. And I appreciate and, and really like that. I think it's really cute with these corduroy pants that she's wearing too. Yeah, it's a good look. Ooh, and in a black, just right, it's right down my alley. These are things that when I look at them now, I kind of feel like, you know, I'm going to put some of these projects aside and work on some of these projects so that I can have them to wear as the weather really starts to warm up. Now, just so you know, whenever I do these videos of pattern rundowns, I have favorite bundles over on Ravelry where everything that I mentioned here today is included, plus others that I've included as well. You can find that linked in the show notes if you follow the QR code, if you look in the description box, or if you click on the link that I provide to you in the comment section of this video, that will provide you with the link that will Will link you off to that favorites bundle of all of these patterns. So just, you know, FYI, but this one is definitely in there among other t-shirt patterns that I think are good ones to consider for the warmer months. Okay. This next one is more fun and fast and it's perfect if you're thinking about breaking into crochet or maybe you've done a little bit of crochet and you want to do a little bit more but you don't want to commit too much time. This is the Hexi Puff Coasters by the lovely Tony Lipsy of TL Yarn Crafts. She is fabulous. If you're getting into crochet, you definitely need to watch her videos. So these are a really cute collection of coasters. I love the array of colors that she's using here. It would be another fun way to kind of get, um, have some color play with your project. But I also really love the idea of doing multiple colors within one coaster. Imagine when you're looking at this picture, taking all of the colors that she has here and crocheting each round in a different color. I think that would be a really fun way to kind of spice it up a little bit. This is a really great, easy go-to pattern for something that's, you know, no stress, 
I don't, you can work it up really quickly and have a cute functional collection of coasters for your house and you can have fun playing with color. But I love this one. So these are the Hexi Puff Coasters by Tony Lipsy. Okay, one accessory that I always like to have available to me as the weather starts warming up and you're out in the sun more often is to have a nice neckerchief to wear if you wanna protect your neck from the sun. If you're out doing something, you wanna have that little extra protection around your neck or you just want something that's gonna keep you cool. It's gonna help wick moisture away from your skin. Maybe you're working outside or you're on a walk what have you. I like the look and the feel of having a neckerchief that I can easily tie around my neck, something that's not a shawl and even a little bit smaller than a scarf, but kind of serves the same purpose as almost like a bandana. Enter the Chill Out Scarf by Anna D. This is kind of almost like a crochet version of the Sophie Scarf by Petite Knit and I absolutely love it. What I love about this is just the overall aesthetic. I love the Sophie Scarf by Petite Knit, but I love that this is crochet because to me that means I could potentially work it up a lot quicker than I would be able to work up a Sophie Scarf, and I love that. So this is it. I love the way she's wearing it in all of these instances here. I like this, it's kind of like a bolo tie almost look about it. I like that, really stylish. This to me is a little bit too like up and on my neck. I'm not sure I like that look, but that's just a style thing. That's how she's styling it. It's totally, you know, it's preferential. But I love the dimensions of this scarf. I, I wanna say it's length, yeah, it's a 42 and a half inches long and it's about five and a quarter inches wide at its widest point and that's the perfect size. I can wrap it a few times. I can wear it like a bolo tie if I want to. I really love this. So this is definitely going to be something that I cast on in the very near future. And in fact, on a recent trip to Michael's, I purchased this really lovely bamboo viscose yarn by Lion Brand. This is their True Boo line of yarn. It is, the way that it's said here is 100% no, not viscose, I'm sorry, 100% rayon from bamboo. And it's really, really lovely. It has a gorgeous luster to it. And I really love this color. So this is the color I have chosen to potentially cast on a chill out scarf. It's very neutral, but it has a little bit of a depth to it. So it'll stand out, you know, with outfits that I wear. I really like this, but you can kind of have fun with a lot of different colors. Yeah, it's just super versatile. Love that. Functional versatile, stylish, and you can work it up really quickly in whatever yarn you choose. This calls for a sport weight yarn and that's what this is. The samples are knit using a baby merino, so you can use a wool, but you can use you know a cellulose-based fiber as well. It's really, the world is your oyster. The pattern is available here and on Etsy. It's $5.20. This is another good pattern if you wanna have fun with some variegated yarn and watch that color kind of play out over something that's kind of long and narrow. Just another fun look at how variegated colors come out on different sizes of items. So yeah, this is just an overall really versatile piece and perfect for those warmer weather months, but also absolutely suitable for um, chillier weather as well, depending on what you use to make it. When the weather starts to warm up, I start thinking about market bags for lots of different things, for going to the park, for going to the grocery store, for doing anything, something lightweight, kind of boho chic, something colorful. I love market bags for that purpose. And this pattern, the Modern Market Bag by Selena Baca is Perfect. I love that it's crocheted. I love that it has that granny square look about it. It has a beautiful tassel as well. And I guess that's completely optional if you don't like tassels, but it just looks like a really fun way to, again, play with color that we tend to want to play with a little bit more in the warmer months. And also to have something that punches up your outfit or just provides you with something fun and functional to use. And it's crochet, so you can work it up quickly and have it ready to go just in time for the warming weather. And it's DK weight yarn. And you know what's kind of fun about this too? is that as long as you know which size hook for any weight of yarn, you could choose any weight of yarn and the appropriate hook and then just get a market bag that is either smaller or larger than the sample and have fun with you know varying sizes. I like the look of the one that's shown here. It's just a really good size and I know it would hold a ton because those expand and I think it's super cute. So that is the Modern Market Bag by Selena Baca, and you can have a ton of fun playing with color with this one. Okay, this next one is a jumper pattern, but it's perfect for warmer months because as you can see, it has lots of opportunity for ventilation, and it's knit using a really beautiful braided cotton yarn. This is called the Rhoda Jumper by Irene Lynn. 
Her styles of garments are just so unique and luxe and beautiful. I have actually shared a couple of her patterns on previous episodes before. I just love her style and I feel like they all have a real kind of casual glam look about them. And this one is no exception. I love the open airy fabric. I love the shape of the sleeves and that they don't go all the way down. I also love the kind of the length of the garment. It's a little bit cropped, but not too cropped if you're wearing higher pants. Again, fully adjustable. It just looks effortless to me. Another thing that I really love too is those, I don't know if you would call that a drop. Is that a drop shoulder? I guess that's a drop shoulder construction, but she has the sleeves stitched at about right here. And there's a really pretty, what looks to me like a crochet chain. Well, I don't know. Like there's just some stitching that goes along this part of the sleeve that is so nice and polished. I don't know. Everything about this is so polished. It looks complicated, but I have a feeling that the stitch pattern is probably not as complicated as it looks. Really love this. This is the Rota Jumper by Irene Lynn being knit in Stitch and Story Cotton Braid, which is an Aran weight, 6% nylon, 94% cotton yarn. Lion Brand sells something similar to this, and I saw it at Michael's a couple days ago. And I can't remember what it's called, but it has that like braided construction. It's about an Aran weight. And I almost want to say it was the exact same composition with that little bit of nylon in there. Yeah. But you guys, this is a fantastic option. If you're feeling that sweater knitting itch, but you just know you're not interested in knitting something really wooly right now, this can definitely satisfy that itch. And it provides you with a garment that you can wear in the warmer months, even into the cooler months of autumn as they approach. So it's a really versatile piece. You definitely would want to wear something underneath this if you're not wearing a bathing suit underneath it. Of course, that's just, that's just me and my, my preferences. Well, there you have it, you guys. That was seven patterns to knit and crochet for warmer weather months. I'm going to go ahead and pop my hat on here because it gets me excited about that Luca or Lucca hat. I'm telling you, I'm going to like right now after we get done doing this, I'm going to order that yarn because I'm so excited to make that hat. I think it's going to be perfect. But anyway, let's just, you know, bring on the warmer weather, that lovely springtime vibe because I'm excited for it. I'm going to be a little sad when the cozy weather subsides, but we have been getting a lot of rain lately. So I still get a little bit of that cozy vibe, but yeah, bring on the beautiful spring weather, bring on the flowers and the green. I am ready for it. And with patterns like these, you'll have things to keep you busy while the temperatures start warming up. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to hang out and listen to me chat about this today. If you took value from this video, or enjoyed yourself at any point, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications anytime I upload something new here on the channel, which is every Wednesday and every Sunday. Until Wednesday, when I have a new midweek ramble to share with you, something I'm really excited to talk about with you guys. Happy knitting, happy crocheting, happy making. Whatever it is that you're doing, take care, be well, and I will see you soon. Bye.